Hello everyone, you are in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video I want to show you how you may measure diode pulse power with solar panels uh, that I showed in our previous video, our installation and our uh, MO2 PC board and DC-DC converter. So this is our experimental uh, parts are here. So this is laser completely unfocused and this is our installation. So, uh, first of all, we want to remind you that we have oscillograph and uh, it's connected to our solar panels that are here. And now we're going to turn on the laser in maximum power. So you will see um, the, the power that is actually uh, where we have like 100%. So you see this is this is our uh, power. This is uh, we have it in the center So the diode is working 100% So it means that the average CV power is something like 7 maybe 7.58 watts, so that's how uh, Nietzsche and 44 and 47 diodes uh, work. So you see that we can say that it is relatively 100% for for these for these uh, diode. Now we are increasing voltage and okay now it's uh, we, we need to change due to ratio so it's 500 Hertz and 100% due to ratio now we're decreasing due to ratio to 10% and you can see on oscillograph that uh, the, the, these peaks, it's like 10%, so that's how the laser is working. And you see that it still remains, uh, so this is zero and this is 100%. Okay, and now we are going to increase voltage on the diode. So we increasing it from, uh, now it's 5.3, 5.3. Yeah, 5.32 volts and you can see that the average, uh, the, the maximum peak actually increased a little bit, well like maybe half of a square up. So it means that in the impulse this diode works uh, probably like 10% more. But now we only have 5.8 volts. You can see it over here. 5.8 volts. Okay, Ilya, let's increase to... Okay, we're increasing it 6.33 6.5 volts here so here it's a little bit more than that it's almost one one square let me do zoom in so you can see uh, the range that uh, actually the, the peak power laser power is more probably like 20-25%. That is actually giving us a very simple calculation that in impulse mode when we have uh, 7, 7.3 volts uh, maybe on diode it's like 7 volts we have yeah, we have this uh, power more than like 20-25%. That actually gives us uh, the peak diode power closer to 9, 10 watts. But keep in mind that we do not recommend to make this experiment because it can harm your uh, diode and it can actually break it. We plan to start delivering uh, boxes for impulse mode. So you'll have a MO2 PC board, you'll have uh, a DC-DC converter ready for um, for impulse mode, but uh, then you'll get the power closer to 9, 10 watts. So that's uh, what I wanted to tell you and share. 
So hope that you like this video and once again with solar panels you can measure peaks and uh, impulse power of your laser but uh, as soon as it's not calibrated you can only do relative measurements. So share this video with your friends, subscribe on our channel and if you have anything um, you want to talk to me just email gf at enduranceroblets.com or text me plus seven nine one six two two five four three two and have a wonderful experience with endurance lasers bye bye